What's up guys? Welcome back to another Tuesday tip with Surveying with Robert. I think it kind of, Surveying with Robert kind of rhymes and Tuesday tip kind of rhymes too, doesn't it? Okay, anyways, let's get into this real quick. I uh, wanted to show you how to use GPS search. In Survey Pro, it's called GeoLock. So what we're going to do is the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to set it up. So what you're going to want to do is when you're in the main menu, go to Instrument, go to Target Controls. Now then, if you're on page one of two on this screen, maybe just a little bit different, it may be on the second page on the TSC3 with access. So you're gonna see GPS search. First thing you wanna do is turn it on. When it comes from the factory or when you load access on data collector for some crazy reason, that's turned off. You guys wanna make sure you turn it on. So you'll notice over here on the right hand side, um, up here towards the top, just below the instrument, it's got the prism. And on the prism, you'll notice there's a little GPS icon that means my GPS search is enabled. And also you'll see the lock there means that I'm locked on the, uh, on the prism with my gun. So I'm gonna accept this and I'm gonna show you how important this is. Uh, you know what, let me go back real quick. I wanna show you something. If you'll notice, I've got my horizontal search down to five degrees. If I go to GPS right here, you're gonna see it says coordinate system definition. So, or, I'm sorry, um, coordinate system Definition, yeah, I thought it used to say defined. Anyways, um, what um, what that means is that the coordinate system is defined. It's in state plane. I've got this job set up in Arkansas North, state plane. And so um, it knows the uh, position of the robot. We know the position of the pole because the data collector has a GPS unit built into it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to move and when we move, uh, the gun is going to follow us. So, but let's say we walk behind a building and we come back out the other side. That gun's going to be looking where we were, not where we are. That's where the GPS search comes in. Because when I hit search on the screen, it's going to come back around to me. So there's two different ways to do this. One is a coordinate system that's defined. Another one is a to define the coordinate system yourself. So it'll say coordinate system undefined. So what that means is we're in like 5,000, 5,000. All this stuff goes on behind the scene. You guys don't have to do anything other than turn that box, that GPS search box on. It's the only thing you need to worry about. Now, if you're in a 5,000, 5,000 coordinate system, you need to make sure you've got the gun in a tracking mode because what happens is it's taking a position from the data collector and it's basically resecting back to the gun and putting a position on the gun so that when I hit search, What's gonna happen is the data collector is going to calculate an angle for the gun to turn to find me. It's not using the GPS, literally the position to find me, it's telling the gun what angle to turn to find me. So let me show you. So let's jump in here. I'm gonna go into search. It's already locked on to me. I'm gonna go into here. So this is the, uh, G the um, joystick. So you can get to the joystick by going right here, going joystick, that little instrument icon on the right hand side will bring you to the instrument functions or you can go to instrument and go to instrument functions that way. So what we can do is I can actually turn the gun away from me. So if I spin that gun around, it's looking the other direction right now. So I have two functions here. I have a search, which is a search centered. Searching. So you're going to notice that the gun is not looking at me. It's looking the other way. I'm going to cancel that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the GPS search and make it come around to me. And bam, it's locked on me. So it's using the GPS position to figure out where I'm at for the gun to turn an angle. It's pretty simple, actually. I would hate to do all the math, but it's pretty simple. So. Let me show you uh, another cool feature. So let's go into measure topo. Let's say that I wanted to take a shot. So let's say I want to store this point number three. I'm going to back out to here. So just so you can see what happens. I've got it in a tracking mode. So if I go back to F2, which is my hotkey, or like I said, go to the instrument, go to instrument functions, I'm going to turn that thing back around again. Okay? I'm going to escape out of here. Now, I'm Walked out from around the corner of the building, I'm ready to take a shot. So all I need to do is hit measure, and that thing will automatically target tell the locked. GPS search to look for us. Bam, target is locked on us. Now, 
If you've got good GPS position, you've set two points with your uh, GPS, you've come off a network, that's awesome. Uh, I actually used the data collector and got my position for the robot and here just using the built-in GPS on the data collector, which is probably another video down the road. So if I'm doing it on a 5,000, 5,000 assumed coordinate system, which I don't recommend, but let's say that you have to, you show up on a site, somebody's done a 5,000, 5,000, because I know you guys would never do that, right? So what you want to do is, it's already turned on, it's already working. Put your gun in tracking mode, walk perpendicular to the gun, and it will automatically build the points in the background. If you want to see it going on, go back into, if we go back to menu, we go to instrument, target controls, we hit the GPS, you will see down here at the bottom of the screen that it's going to say um, building points. So it's going to add points into the list. Now, usually it takes about five points. If you've got good geometry, it takes about five points for it to actually build this. Um, once you have it, it'll actually give you like uh, an, an error residual, you know, like two degrees, five degrees, something like that, telling you you're that close. So just to reiterate, make dang sure you turn that GPS search on or this does not work. Uh, the nice thing about it is I can turn that horizontal range down so that if I'm in a passive mode like I am now, that gun is not looking at 30 degrees out there and picking up on tail lights and reflectors and garbage like that. It's not going to search till it gets to this narrow window and the likelihood of it picking up something behind you is drastically reduced. This is a great way to use these Trimble robots in a uh, with a passive prism. So um, guys, I hope that works for you. I just want to do this quick tip, show you how it works. Um, if you have any questions or whatever, you got any suggestion for videos, man, put it in the comments down below. Um, I, I get so complacent with things sometimes that I forget about what you guys probably really want to see. Throw me some stuff down there, some kind of video that I could build you to help you out, um, whether it be business center or with uh, the data collectors and stuff. So, um, I've got a couple videos coming out. One's tied to a network. I've got to finish that up and get it to you guys. And then I've got another one coming out. It's going to be on alignments. So that one's going to involve TBC and access. So anyways, you guys be careful. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that's the only way I know uh, that I'm doing it right is for you guys. When you subscribe, I know you're interested in what I'm doing. And when you like the videos, that tells me that uh, which videos you guys are, are enjoying the most and kind of gives me an idea of a direction I need to go. So guys, be careful out there. Catch you guys in the next video. God bless. Take care.